Hello students, welcome to the English Literature class. In today's class, we shall have the lesson of fun the Hayat. It is written by Isaac Asimov, the famous Russian writer. This is taken from your English Literature book, The Hayat, Chapter 1. Students, this is an imaginative story based on 17th May 2157. That means the incidents, the stories that have been described here is taking place on this day. As of now, it is definitely far off from today, nearly more than 1 and 50, 40 years ago. Now, based on the imagination that how could be the schools of the future? So, the schools of the future. So, so this story is talking about the schools of the future nearly more than 100 years from today. So, the author says the schools of the future will have very specific characteristics. First of all, learning through computers. So, the schools of the future will have learning through computers, not using the textbooks, the school building, the classrooms, pen, paper, chalk, blackboard, green board, etc. So completely it is through computer. Secondly, there will not be a physical classroom, physical building. It will have a virtual classroom, virtual school. Almost like a classroom of today, but not exactly that. Then what about the teacher? Teacher will not be the man. Teacher will be a mechanical teacher can be a robotic teacher, a mechanical teacher, computer teacher. Then what about the test books? Test books will not be like those of today, having the books, having pages, but they will have the moving test books on the screen. So this is the overall picture of the schools of the future. So. We will have the virtual school, virtual classroom and the mechanical teacher. So, they will be called regular teacher, regular classroom because it is set without any failure. Every day it will start, it will take the classes, it will have questions, homework, tests, results, everything on time. So, it is called a regular teacher, regular class, regular school. Now, in the story we have two characters. Margie, a girl of 11 years. Tommy, a boy of 13 years. One day, they were talking and chatting and suddenly, Tommy brought out a funny thing and he said it was a book. Margie had not seen it, did not know what it was. So she asked Tommy what it is. Tommy told her it is a book. Margie laughed and said, What a joke! How can this be a book? Or book is on the screen. Then Tommy said, This is the book that used to be used by our Grand parents. So, Margie remembered that one day her grandfather had told her that his grandfather used to have a book which had pages and words were written on it. The pages had to be turned. Then she began believing that yes, that was what her grandfather had taught to her. Then, at once, 
Margi Kalkatari and wrote that today Tommy found a real book. Today Tommy found a real book. That means Tommy had found it from the attic which was kept and it had a lot of dust on it. Then when both began looking at it, they found that it was very, very old. And this book was written, this book had something about old school. Then Mahargi also began taking interest in reading what was written on it. Then this book had pages and the pages had to be turned. And the whole book, the pages inside looked yellow and crinkly because anything after many years of the books, the color changes. Words stood still on the pages, whatever was written, the words stood still. They did not change as today what we have on the screen. Then the words remained fixed on a particular page. Any number of time you see that page, you find the same word, same line. So that was the old book, what Tommy had found it. Now, meanwhile, Margi was going through a problem. By this time, Margi had began hating the school, did not want to study, did not want to do the homework, did not want to give the test. Why? There was a reason. Her geography section was becoming tougher and tougher for her to cope up with. She found that her performance grade in geography was becoming lower and lower every time. Geography section. And so her mother also was becoming worried. So, in order to help her daughter, she called the county inspector. Now, who is county inspector? County inspector is a government local in charge of the school, of the students, of the mechanical teaching gadgets, who was responsible to look after. County inspector was called in. He came. First of all, he patted Margi to assure her that everything will be alright, she did not worry. And he gave her an apple so that she could be quite happy. Then, count inspector checked the teacher, teacher means mechanical teacher, computer teacher. And meanwhile, Margi was very happy thinking that now her teacher would be taken away because she knew some times ago Tommy's teacher was taken away for nearly one month because his history section had blanked out completely. So Margie also expected that today her teacher would be taken away and she will relax. She will not have to attend the class. But it did not happen. Margie said to her mother, Margie, Margie's uh, mother had complained to the count inspector what problem she was facing. So come, count inspector checked and told her mother that there is no problem. Actually, it is not Margie's problem. It was a problem with the teacher. Actually, the teacher was slightly set above her age level. Now he has adjusted to the average of 10 years age. So after all, Margie was doing well according to her age. Only there was a problem with the, the mechanical teacher. So fighting again, Margie, the count inspector, went away. Margie was very sad. Her, her wish did not come true. And now she had to sit before the teacher. And Meanwhile, she was thinking about the whole book and was thinking about uh, how, uh, 
her grand father used to study then her mother owned uh, margi to go to the school because it was time for the class then she was unwilling to go but she had to go and uh, she went there again the same screen opened and Tommy also went for his study and again the same question uh, appeared there arithmetic question please insert your homework in the proper slot a uh, slot was a particular space and the area where the test and homework was placed and it was checked by the teacher then she began thinking about those old uh, school and again once more Marty asked Tommy what about the children how could the children study in those days Tommy told that the this book tells about the school then uh, Marty said what about the students and teachers so we told her that the students and teacher went to a particular school building there all studied there children went from the neighborhood to the school teacher also went there and uh, they played together studied together in the morning they went together in the afternoon they went by they enjoyed and uh, that was the base marke began thinking about those days and she wished that she also could go to such schools and enjoy like those children who used to have lot of fun as her grandparents so students this is the story the fun they had the imaginative school of the future students i hope you got the story and keep learning stay safe